what's going on everybody this is island hopper tv hotels coming to you from the new star which is a casino next to the sm seaside uh, this is actually the philly hotel f-i-l-i -I. assuming that has to do with philippines but anyway we're gonna go inside here we've got to go through a security here Hello, ma'am. All right, so I had to do that little security check there, but uh, here we are. So you've got the casino. I cannot film in there as usual with casinos. Can't film in there. It is huge. But this is the Philly Hotel, the lobby area. This is where you check in. They've got the concierge and three reception desks open right now. VIP members right there. A little lounge area for waiting. Hello. And then here's the uh, cafe. This is the Philly lobby. Sorry about the weather today, guys. It's uh, a bit gloomy, but this little cafe here. All right. So over here you have the mall and the convention center access. Yeah, so here's the mall right here. You got the convention center. This is more of the high-end shopping area. They've got Givenchy, Saint Laurent, Dior, Louis Vuitton. Anyway, I'm not going to show you all around this uh, mall here because you get the idea about malls. But. Uh, this is not the actual SMC side. It's nearby here, but this is a different mall. All right, so here we are on the fourth level. This is where the pool, the spa, and I believe the gym, 24 hour fitness center is. But let's go take a look at the pool for starters. Heavy doors. <laughs> Man, I just wish the weather was a little bit better so we could get a full perspective on what you can expect when you're here, but uh, Okay, the weather is just not quite there. That's what you get when you get rainy season. Let's see up. Let's go this way and uh, see what else. On the fourth floor. Here's the gym. I think I took the back route. But big gym, big fitness center, I should say. Wow. I mean, I feel like this has got to be one of the best uh, hotels in all of the Philippines, based on what I've seen. I mean, stayed at the Grand Hyatt, stayed at the Hilton, the Marriotts. This one here has the views. There's another pool, but uh, it looks like it's closed off today. Got some sort of yoga room right here. Hello. Looking. This is the spa, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, I was just looking. Thank you. You got over here. Waiting room right here. Okay. Smells good in here. AC works great. They do have an executive lounge on the 23rd floor, but I don't know if I'll be able to get up there. Oh, wow, so we've got some uh, light on here. And uh, yeah, this is uh, the dinner buffet. Looks like we've got the Indian corner here. Lots of variety. Wow, we got some brisket. Pizza. Wow, little noodle bar here. 
Fried shumai. Here we have beef pancake, kimchi pancake, bowl of glass noodles, Korean fried chicken. Alrighty, here's a look at the room. First up here is the closet space. Right when you uh, check in to the room, you got two robes, a hair dryer, a safe, two slippers, an iron, a flashlight, and some drawers. There's your little safe. Just checked in, it was 20 degrees, 0.5 Celsius. This is the deluxe sea view room, I believe is what it's called. I know it's called a sea view room at least got all of the amenity kits, including a nail file, <laughs> two waters here, and a toilet, shower as well for those of you who want to shower and not do a bath, big old shower and bath there, very nice. Now for the mini bar, you've got two more waters, very small. I don't know why they don't just give two big waters and save plastic. So maybe what I would do, I don't know. Oh, they have more waters here. I don't mind my bags. There's a nice little desk area. And you've got views. Looking out towards Mokton Island. Again, not a very good weather day because of typhoons. You've got views of Fast Cat. Probably coming in from maybe a hole? Tag Billeron, I don't know. All right, so we got waffles. This is breakfast, by the way. Bacon, crispy and soft bacon. Some chorizo. Pickled veggies. <clears throat> Breakfast ham. <clears throat> Eggs. They've got a lot going on in here. You saw with dinner, it's quite a big place. So either way, lots of options. And then you have the... Uh, fruit section or well the bar area to make custom coffees right here so here you go all right guys let's talk about my final review of the new star so the casino which i could not show you because you can't film in the casino uh it's huge it's really a nice casino very modern the hotel is also modern it's two years old uh, they are building a new hotel right next to the philly hotel they say it's going to be even more luxurious and grand than the philly um, so they also have that attached mall, which makes it nice. It's not SM, uh, Seaside, like I originally thought it was. That's a whole nother mall, just about a uh, five minute drive away from here. But overall, I would say this is a good hotel. The things that really stood out to me were the buffets. I mean, they were really just fantastic buffets. They were high price though. I mean, we're talking 35, $40 a person, even for breakfast. Sometimes it's included with the room, but you know, you have to be a VIP member. For those of you who plan to spend a lot of time in the Philippines, you may consider getting that VIP membership. Uh, the things that I didn't really care for was like the shower. For some reason, they have that shower knob that if, if, if you just barely overturn it, you know, then it turns back on. So it's hard to turn off because they have those, what the, people consider to be modern knobs. I just like the simple push-pull or side-to-side, -side, easy as that. They went with the high-tech stuff. I don't know how that's any more efficient, but um, that was one thing that irritated me because a couple times I would go to turn it off and I couldn't quite turn it off or I would change from the top shower to the uh, side shower nozzle and then it would spray out cold water on me. And I'd be like, no, I don't like cold water. But anyway, I like hot water. Uh, you also have the uh, bed is very comfortable. I will definitely say that. I'm not so sure I agree with all those uh, water bottles, the small ones, I would say just give like two big ones or th 
four big ones instead of you know lots of little water bottles that end up being just more plastic waste which i don't think the philippines needs any more of um or maybe find a solution to the water situation water tastes good though it's good tasting water um there was a couple other things that kind of irked me a bit but uh, overall it's a really good hotel they forgot to give me towels i guess you could say so i don't i've never checked into a hotel where they didn't have towels so i had to call down to the front desk to get towels it wasn't a big deal, but it's something that, you know, should be mentioned, I suppose. Overall, I would say it's a fantastic hotel. Highly recommend it. Hope you guys come here and enjoy yourself. Um, like I said, just a couple minor technical issues. But other than that, a really fantastic hotel. Probably the best hotel in all of Cebu. See you guys on the next one.